everyone, it's Molly. Today we are making apple Washington because I live in Washington state. So these are our two main ingredients, so let's get started. Okay, this recipe calls for a cup of sugar, so I'm gonna go with the Granny Smith. Um, I think we'll need that tartness. And it says five medium apples. I couldn't find medium apples at my store. They were either the small lunchbox size or these gigantic size, the size that I have right here. So I went with the big ones and we'll see how many I need. Um, you wanna make sure you peel them and then you want to uh, thinly slice them. If you slice them thin, uh, they'll cook a little bit faster. Just try to get even slices so they all kind of cook about the same amount of time. So uh, let's get these sliced. And the recipe will be available for you down below in the video description box if you decide you wanna make this. So experiment with other types of apples, but um, I'm just gonna go with the classic Granny Smith. And yep, I'm just chopping it thinly, slicing it thinly, good grief. And let's get going on the rest of these. The recipe says to use a nine inch by nine inch by two inch square pan. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna use this large pie plate. I think it'll work. And I hope uh, I don't have too many apples. Um, we shall see what I end up with. If I have too many, I guess I'll just eat one later. All right, now to make our topping. So I'm just gonna put the butter. You could do this by hand. I'm just using a mixer because I'm lazy. The brown sugar. And I'm just gonna mix those together first. Um, and then I'll add the bisquick. And uh, quickly, I'm adding the cinnamon. You could add other spices to this if you want, like nutmeg, clove, allspice, cardamom. Those would all be good. But I'm just gonna stick with the cinnamon. And the rest of the sugar, or blah, blah, blah. blah. This topping doesn't have any salt in it, I noticed, and uh, so I'm using salted butter. The recipe doesn't specify otherwise, but I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe salted butter might be a good use here, um, but it's your preference. So let's get this combined. So I ended up only using four apples because they were so large. So I'm just sprinkling my topping onto my apples in here, and I'm just kind of trying to work that topping down in between the apples, but that sugar should melt and with the butter and kind of work its way in between. Um, so yeah, just spread it on top and try to use the right size pan and try to find medium apples, because uh, now I'm starting to have doubts as to how this is gonna turn out. I really hope it's good, but we shall see. And the recipe says to serve this with vanilla ice cream. I forgot to buy that, so I might have to go get some vanilla ice cream uh, on my way home from the gym. Uh, yeah, there we go. So this bakes in a 375 degree oven, and it says for about 30 minutes or until apples are tender. You can uh, poke this with a fork after 30 minutes, and if it goes in easily, that's how you'll know the apples are done. If you feel some resistance, give it a little bit more time. You might have to top it with some foil if it starts getting too dark, um, but we'll see how this turns out. So here's a rare glimpse of me multitasking. I'm actually baking this at the same time that I'm doing another YouTube video, a beef and hominy bake. I'll link to that above. So anyways, uh, I'm pulling trying to film myself pulling this out of the oven and I'm getting the timing wrong, but this took about 40 minutes to bake. Um, so just check it with a fork, like I said before, and then we'll set this aside to cool a little bit and then on to the next YouTube video. So what do we have here? It's called Apple Washington because apples, a lot of apples come from Washington. I don't know, the recipe made a plea about that. It's apples and cinnamon and bisquick, which was kind of expensive at the store. So I'm hoping this is good. Don't give me a ton. Okay. We got ice cream for this. We got um, cinnamon churro ice cream. I thought that good, good would go good with this. Let's go get a scoop of that. Is that enough for you? Yeah, just a little bit for me. Hopefully this isn't gross. All right, let's go to the couch. Do you have spoons? Yes. Yeah. Our house is a mess. So we just tried the, uh, what the heck was that called? Ground beef and hominy bake or something like that. That was pretty good. Yeah. Anyways. You ready for this? Yes, try it. Tastes like apple pie. Yeah? It's good. Even with the biscuit? Yeah. Try it. I'm gonna try it without the cinnamon.
Oh yeah, tastes just like apple pie. Very delicious. It's really good. Not bad. A nice dessert for living in Washington State. <laughs> what? The recipe made a big deal about it. Dan likes it. How is it with the ice cream? It's good. Yeah, good, good pick. Yeah. All right. Good job, boy. Thank you. Well, let me know if you guys make this recipe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.